welcome to the second episode of the Millennial Starseed. I am your host Andriana and today we're going to discuss about timelines and what is actually taking place right now because so many of you requested this topic. Before we start, I would like to thank every single one of you who reached out to me and expressed so much gratitude and love for the first episode and how much you needed to listen to this episode. So thank you so much for this. I really appreciate you and I can't wait to share more about this journey with you. So what I wanted to share today, it's about timelines and uh what is taking place with this eclipse, solstice and everything are basically events that are leading to old timeline collapse that is happening in the present moment. So all these energies amplify the old timelines so that they'd be released. That's why it feels intense for some people and when it comes to really uh, feeling the old again there's two choices, to either go crazy or to go light body. When you go light body, there's no attachment there. So to get to that light body, you need to not ignore what you're feeling, to feel what you're feeling and to allow yourself to see and realize that it is something else from a higher perspective. So if something happens that triggers emotional response, um try to remember that there is an old timeline collapse so it comes up again to be seen and to be transmuted to be released so uh, what personally helps me to get more clarity on things is when i write things down when i express them on paper sometimes i do speak them out loud but when i have them written down it feels better to me it's like a release like something that needed to be expressed and now it's over like it's out of my chest onto a paper and i can forget about it so it's easier for me when i do this to uh, pause and go light body and this overrides and overrides the old with the zero point with the new we are moving to the next state of embodiment where DNA light codes are going to activate. They, they are not going to activate all at once, but we are in this phase of activating those light codes. And this is a different state of consciousness. We're heading there. So basically events happen along the way and bring timelines together to merge and to align us with the embodiment phase of clearing the enslavement of the subconscious right now so that we can become ready to claim back our sovereignty through requesting the lesson, the revelation and the transmutation. So many paradigms are collapsing. The anger, the fear, the frustration and everything that has been stored in the subconscious through the consciousness that created that energy is now being released. We are asked or being trained to find a new way to do this by shifting the way we react to that uh, program. So when we go light body, it's basically when we feel the heart. Dr. Joe Dispenza explained this and uh, when we feel the heart and when we learn how to self-regulate this energy, we begin to release high levels of oxytocin that suppresses the survival um, centers in the brain. So all lower timelines dissolve and as we practice this integration within, the oxytocin signals chemicals called nitric oxide that causes the heart center to open up with an intense amount of love and we're feeling alive, selfless, whole. And this energy moves up to the brain, intrigues the freedom codes and the, the need for expression. We've, we're feeling this creative state and the need to express this love and this energy through our gifts um, and this is a way we're claiming back our sovereignty because when we're feeling this alignment, this is the embodiment that we're talking about. There is a huge collective shift that is happening because every single one of us is going through this personal journey. We're shifting to this creative state, this solution-based paradigm. The important thing you need to remember in this is that all the negative stuff that we've been suppressing or feeling are coming up to the surface they're amplified so that they're being revealed so that we can deal with them and transmute them and then release them with integrating them within ourselves so we need to teach ourselves these emotional clearing skills we need to cultivate that the easiest way to do this is 
through the ascension practices. Everybody has their own ascension practices. I personally do this in the gym by lifting weights, by moving my body, sweating it out. Um, sun charging is very important. Uh, sometimes fasting for me. I do this to feel more um, what my body feels and to be to release it like I expressed in the previous episode. So this is very interesting, especially sun charging to me is like the best way because I connect my heart to the sun and the sun takes over the body. So it's, it's an instant source unification and it's a training to surrender to that energy. It's opening up the heart fields and you receive the codes directly. It's a way to unplug and to learn how to maintain this and to work with your physical your emotional and your spiritual balance as i said things are being amplified to be seen and released so don't get attached to judgments or duality uh, or how people react to you sometimes people who we look up to um, that they are you know a bit more advanced in their journey are also going through this and we need to remember that everybody is affected by these um, old timelines uh, because everybody has things that they're going through that's why we're on this earth because we're all going through this emotional rehab this learning journey not to get attached to judgment or or even if we do this sometimes and we judge other people for not being awake enough honor everybody in their journey choose your own timeline and trust that it will all work out in the end knowing that everything happens for a reason and everything happens for this clearing and integration brings alignment to you this may present in many different ways for me it presented in a way that people who i really care about hold their own perception of me and even though i'm always changing and becoming a better version of me in their subconscious they hold this old version of me this has been very frustrating to me to come to accept but um receiving this guidance that you know there is this old timeline collapse and that's why this is amplifying to be cleared completely it's a release for me it's, it's it feels so much better knowing that this is what is taking place to make room for the new anything that you feel anything that you create with your mind and with your heart can be felt time doesn't exist so it's an instant so feeling this love within your heart this wholeness that is rooted deep within your heart within yourself through all of your body feeling your light body expanding this love and sending all this alignment and balance to everybody else on this planet to everybody else who needs this visualize this and know that it does work empower your experience and find and express your unique expression find what it is that drives you find what gifts you have what gifts are being activated right now and express them the world needs you and it's your time to show up show up for yourself and then show up for everybody else who needs you don't push things to people that are not ready to wake up just share your unique perspective on things without trying to impose things to them and uh, trust and know that everything is changing and everything will be revealed to you in the right timing so ground this expression of yours into the physical and honor your own voice and your own journey change perspective on things and see them as they are and not as they present themselves to be because know that everything that is happening has a different meaning from the higher realms and know that nothing is as it seems knowing that everything is a lesson and that you are not here to just suffer you're here to have a happy ending in the end hold your vision to that timeline to the highest timeline to what you really want to experience and know that events are taking place so all the things that need to be cleared are being cleared to align you with that timeline so know that and feel it and hold that vision in your mind and in your heart hold space for everybody who is going through this transformation because you are also going through this transformation and that's why you shouldn't judge others 
for their journey. We are all in different levels and we're not here to judge each other for where they are at. We're here to help each other find that balance, find the higher timeline, align with that higher timeline. By judging someone, you don't come from your heart. You just come from your mind and uh, you have work to do. People need to see this. You need to see this if you do this to others. If a person triggers you, there is a reason for this. And yes, sometimes you allow that person to trigger you because you're extracting the lesson out of it. So don't judge yourself for falling into this programming. Just see that what the other person is reflecting to you, it's either something that you have within you that you do the same thing in a way that is not balanced and you need to balance it or you need to cultivate that. It's a wake-up call for us and for our higher selves to work together and to align with the highest timeline that is helping our ascension journey. So when you have repeating thoughts of how things should be or things are fair or that you're so tired of things, remember there is this huge amplification of distortion and duality so that it can be seen, seen for what it is and transmuted through the heart. Be patient with yourself and be patient with others and uh, be more mindful when you are so triggered to react to something. Write down what you feel um, so that you can release it from your system and um, do this clearing, the forgiveness and the release. Not in a way that I'm tired of you, I'm releasing it. Know that, yes, I understand my lesson. I understand what this is trying to teach me, what I need to see in this. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you for showing me this. And know that you have contracts with people that are here to just reflect those things so that you can see them. Sometimes uh, it happens when you care too much about someone and something happens you, that's why someone means a lot to you because if this would happen from a person who doesn't uh, mean anything to you you wouldn't really care to change for anything contracts that we have and agreements that we have with people that actually are there for life for this lifetime and even though sometimes people try to release those people you know you, you can't do this because you chose specific people for specific reasons so um yeah just accept that and see what they're trying to show you what you need to release from within yourself so that you can align uh, with a higher timeline where that person is also working on themselves and that they're being their, their best version and you can actually co-create with them and this is an ongoing journey and i know that some of us want things right now to be different and changed um but um we wouldn't be here you're learning through that sometimes i'm very like okay enough i want that thing to happen right now and i don't give a flying f for anything else because i'm like so tired of things but if things weren't as chaotic and if i wasn't doing the job i wouldn't be able to share this with you so everything happens for a reason and everybody's journey is unique so honor that and train yourself to find what it is that you're being guided to what do you need to see and what do you need to release uh, maybe you need to release attachment about things and just trust that yes it's gonna work out in the end no matter how things look everything is gonna work out for you and for everybody else around you just trust and let things happen let things unfold so know that accept that and let go surrender to the present moment it's aligning for you everything is working out for you so i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you found some clarity feel more grounded within yourself and that you are more in alignment so thank you guys for listening and i will talk to you in the next episode of the millennial stars